Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about a detailed view of router and PC. We will also see what is ping and tracer. First we will have a router in our network and a PC. Let's have a connection between this router and the PC with a straight through cable. Now let's remove these port labels and the device model names has after removing it we'll have our network a bit cleaner so let's click on options preferences or you can also give control r here all these options are given to customize the user's experience so let's remove the model labels port labels and show link lights We'll also remove the link lights. So let's close the window. So now you can see only the names of our devices. Now let's click on the router to have a detailed view of our router. Now we have a physical view of our router and we have a power on or power off button. And we have some ports to place it on these gaps. And we have the description of each port here. So let's go on to the config tab. Here we have some basic settings and interface stuffs. Next is the command line interface tab. Here we can enter commands. So there are three main modes in this, which are namely user mode, privileged mode, and global configuration mode. To view that, Let's go to the router. Here, the first one has already said it is the user mode. So when we give enable in this mode, we can move into the privileged mode. Now, if we give configure terminal, we can move into the global configuration mode. And if we want to move to the privileged mode again you can give end or exit so now we are in the privileged mode now we'll enter the IP address usually IP addresses are entered in the global configuration mode so let's give configure terminal so now let's type the interface name interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 now let's give the IP address IP address let's give 192.168.0.1 then the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 now let's give no shutdown to make this interface up Now we have entered the IP address, so let's go to the PC now. Now, as in the already sent in the pre previous video, video, we have the power on, power off button, and if the PC is off, we can put the port in this list and have an another port here. So we have the description of each port here. So let's move on to the config tab. Here we have some uh, general settings and interface items. In the desktop tab, we have many options like IP configuration, dial-up, terminal, and so on. So let's click on IP configuration. We are in the static mode, which means that you have to enter the IP addresses manually. So let's click here and type an IP address 192.168.0.2 because the router is 192.168.0.1 so let's have the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 so now let's go to the command prompt to view your IP address you can give IP config now you can see a field called IP address and we have our IP address has 192.168.0.2 
and the search net mask has 255.255.255.0 so now let's ping our router let's trace root our router also before that let's see what is ping and trace root now ping is used to test the connection between two network devices ping packet internet grouper provides the information about packet processing ping works by sending an icmp internet control message protocol request message to the respective ip address if the ip address is reachable it responds using an icmp echo reply message a ping command usually shows extra information such as round trip time a time send and a time to send an icmp message to the destination ip address trace route trace route is also used to check the connectivity between two devices but unlike ping it shows every device in the path through which it is connected to that device this command can help you troubleshoot your network problems to find where the problem is exactly trace route sends an icmp echo request message first series of that message will have a time to light ttl parameter set to 1 which means that the first router will discard a packet and send an icmp exceeded time message then ttl is increased by 1 until the destination host is reached when the last host is reached the last host sends an icmp reply message we'll try these both now let's go to the pc and let's ping the ip address 192.168.0.1 which is the ip address of the router so now we get four replies which means that the four packets are sent to this ip address and we got four reply messages so which means that the ip address is reachable now let's trace route this ip address the trace route command is tracer in pcs so let's give tracer 192.168.0.1 it shows that the trace is completed and the first hop is 192.168.0.1 which means the pc is directly connected to the router that is the this ip address so the ip address is reachable and it is directly connected so these both say these both displays some kind of information to us thank you